So I'm going back in with a bristle brush, number eight, with some straight red, and I'm going to paint some wedge strokes to reestablish the color right here and get this form to turn. Okay, at this point we're going to get into showing some of the detail of the stem. So I'm going to mix up some green, since I don't have raw green on my palette. Lemon yellow with a bit of the ultramarine blue. Maybe a little bit more ultramarine blue. This comes down like that. There we go. And there's this large one. It's good to keep these details fluid too. You don't want to stiffen them up. Now with a very soft brush we're going to subtly suggest some of these uh, reflected lights. There's a little bit of, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but there's a cool blue-gray here, and then there's some flecks of light back here. Just the idea of the light breaking around and hitting in a few spots in those uh, shadow areas add a, adds a lot of drama. So I'm reach down, take some ultramarine, actually some titanium white, mix it with ultramarine blue. Light along this rim. Very subtle. A little bit over here too. A little bit over here. It's better to underdo these than overdo them. For the highlights, we're going to load up the bristle brush with a big, thick glob of titanium white. And just merge in the very, very edge of the little wedge stroke. Some artists will use the side of their pinky like this. Just press. Well, during this little demonstration segment, we're going to paint these three peaches resting on a very striking, vibrant blue cloth. And I've placed a dark book behind the peaches to give us that striking contrast. And once again, I have the light, clip-on light, attached to my easel. And we'll be able to observe the way the light bathes and cuts across these peaches. And you'll see there's a little bit of light peeking between these first two peaches, which will add to the drama and really force us to uh, set up that dramatic relationship of light and dark and hopefully capture the sense of light. So let's uh, move on to phase one and see what else we can learn about these uh, techniques I've pre been presenting. We're going to start with a number five bristle brush and I'm going to use a small amount of raw umber, thin it out with some linseed oil, and use this to set up our major value relationships and to plot out our composition within a basic sketch. Let's see what we can do. Let's take the very end of the brush, very corner of the brush, and bring that around. Then you have that cool against the warm. So 
So a few ending notes. I've got a few little textural marks. These highlights are actually textural. They're highlights, but they're also details. Then I've got just a little bit there. And there's a few little Now with my number three bristle brush, I'm going to come in here and just slightly suggest some of these reflective blue lights that are coming from the space over here to the left, opposite the light source. We'll do a little bit of that cool blue and then maybe suggest a little bit in the pepper itself. So I'm going to dip down, take a little bit of the ultramarine blue and just tint it with some white. Actually, a tiny bit of violet got in there. A little bit of the lizard and crimson made a violet, which is fine. That actually may, may work out better. There, a little bit more blue. So right about here. There's just a little bit of light. A little bit there. And there's a little bit right here. All right, using my number 10 bristle brush, Going to take a little bit of the umber and mix it in with the uh, tint of blue violet I was just using. We're going to use this to vary the background a little bit. 